Hi, this is Dave Dobbins with... La Vila Craft. La Vila, yeah, thanks for being here with us. Eve couldn't be with us today, and uh, we're just having a good time. Well, Where this in is going to be exciting today. <laughs> Perfect northern slopes. That's right, in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Going to learn to ski. We're going to learn to ski, oh, really? It's pretty hard to believe it. <laughs> and we've got a great program for you today. We're going to, uh, today's program, we're just going to have a lot of fun mm -hmm. and uh, kind of learn about how this ski slope was. This is actual, There's no, it didn't snow today, but this snow was made by the people that own these the ski slopes who we're going to probably talk to today. Yes, well I hope so. That should be exciting. That's great. On today's program, we're going to take a look into the music and ministry of Greg and Rebecca Sparks, former members of Fashion the Code. Dave recently had an opportunity to uh, talk with them backstage. They're really nice people and uh, a married couple of course, not a brother and sister. But a real, real nice people. So you're going to really enjoy that today. Also on today's program, look for vintage videos from Greg and Rebecca Sparks when they were members of Bashing the Code. And videos from mainstream artists Paul Brady and Bruce Coburn. But first, let's get started with BB and CC Winans' video called Addicted Love. Followed by Take Six first video, Spread Love. Ooh. Two in a row on Victory Videos. Let's go let's skiing. Go. We'll see you later. Whoa. Oh, careful. <laughs> see ya.
And that was music from Take Six. Before that, we heard from BB and CC Winans and Addicted Love. Boy, both of these groups had a great year, didn't they? Really, they did. Recently, BB and CC Winans' new album made it to number one oh. on the R&B charts, along with Christian artists Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant. They're all enjoying great success in the mainstream market. This upcoming year should bring even greater success. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here with our uh, ski instructor, oh. Gary. <laughs> are Gary, we ready for this? <laughs> are we, we going to make it out here today? Well, I tell you, we're going to have a good time at it. Uh, we're going to go do some different types of turns and uh, go through a uh, gliding wedge and a parallel, and we're going to see what we can come up with on the snow. Oh. I can't hardly believe I'm going to do this. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? <laughs> well, I tell you, I've been doing it for uh, eight years now, and uh, I actually became a ski instructor after my second year. Do I was lucky to have some friends that were ski instructors at the time, and took it from there and I love it. It's a great thing for the winter. Oh great. How long does it usually take a <clears throat> beginner like myself to learn how to ski here at uh, Perfect North? Well I tell you we can teach you to ski literally in one day. Uh, you'd start off here on, on an area like this behind us and uh, without the rope toe uh, by the end of the lesson we'd be having you going down the rope toe and uh, making some turns. And then from there, you would go to the chairlift number three over here, and that's uh, when your real fun starts. Oh, boy. <laughs> ch 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 Will chair, we make it to that one today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to get to see us out here learning from the pro. So stay tuned for more Victory videos. Oh we'll boy. be back. <laughs> 
<laughs> right after this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I needed a change of scenery. So I said goodbye to Wall Street for a couple of years. And got a job in Africa with the Peace Corps. It's the perfect place for an investment banker to be. We started a small business development program for local entrepreneurs. You won't find these names on the stock exchange, but we have more than our share of success stories. We helped Jomo get a loan to buy a motor for his fishing boat. Now he's catching three times as many fish. It's meant more food and jobs for everyone. And we've seen a real boost to the local market. It proves what I've always believed. Investing in good people provides great dividends. Peace Corps, the toughest job you'll ever love. Airbags are great when you hit from the front. But if somebody says you don't have to buckle up anymore... <laughs> Tell them they're full of hot air. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. And we're back on Victor Videos. Uh, well, <laughs> what a lesson, huh? <laughs> Was it great? You were great. Oh no, come yes, on. You were. We both did we did well. Well, we did <laughs> fairly good for the first time. That was your second time. Mm -hmm. You haven't skied in what, 14, 14 years? 14 years. Whew. Well, that's my first time in 38 years. So. 38 years. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me want to come back and try it again. That's though. right. And if this you, place is great. I love it. Well, if you just tuned in, we're in Lawrenceburg, Indiana at Perfect North Slopes here. And uh, this is, um, is kind of like man-made snow ski slope. Yeah, a wonderland in the middle of nowhere. A la Colorado. We're going to oh, kind of take yes. you around here today and show you the sights. Uh, but you know what we do best on this program is play some really good videos. Oh, we do. And on today's program, we're featuring Greg and Rebecca Sparks. But first, let's take a look at their former group, Bash in the Code. Our Victory Video reporter, Darlene Thomas, had a chance to talk to Bash in the Code about their music and direction for the future. Here's Bash in the Code, followed by their video, B-I-B-L-E, -E -E. on Victory Video. I like that, B-I-B-L-E. <laughs> Enjoy it. You know, a lot of people think that being a Christian is boring and, and kind of like life stops. You just no. wait to die and go to be heaven, you know. But you guys really have a lot of fun. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm a pastor's kid. Now, Jamie wasn't raised in the church, and I was raised in the church. And my parents, took, as a pastor's son, they took so much time to, to always let me know that the best time was in the Lord. And I just, I hate the lie. I think it's a lie out of the pit of hell. <laughs> I'm, and I'm really serious about this, that, that people think that you have to rob people of the joy and the fun of the Lord. Really, if you're a kid, I think that you, you, you need to know that to get together with Christian friends and, and to celebrate the Lord and to do things in Him and, and to be a fun person in the Lord, because we have the truth. 
and we've been set free to be joyful. And uh, if I couldn't laugh and enjoy life, really, I, man, there would be, I, I, I love being in the Lord and we laugh. We were, we've been laughing all day. We got no sleep last night. We were just sitting in our 1972 camper downtown outside the store eating our ham sandwiches and laughing, you know. And uh, it, in, the, in the Lord, I think that joy needs to be brought to the people in America because they think that, going, that a good time is going to like a salad bar and going out to a movie. Well, I think that in the Lord, celebrating the Lord is the best thing. And so we try and do that. Am I talking too much? No. I think I am. That was music from Bash in the Code and B I B L E. Looks yes. like they they're having a lot of fun in that it video, does. doesn't it? Yes. Every, in is, every video I ever see those guys in, they're always on a cruise ship in the Caribbean. I know. I'd like to know how to get that kind of job. I would too. On the last video, B I B L B I B L E, Rebecca did the studio track for the song. I don't know if oh. you you people knew that. And, uh, but did not appear on the video because by the time they got around to doing her voice, she had already left the band with her husband. So on the new video, we see the new lead singer, but we hear Rebecca Sparks' voice. Nothing gets by us here at Victor Videos. <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you what, we're talking about that warm, warm weather. 
how come they get all the warm shots and we get stuck in the cold here? Yeah, well, you think snow, you think cold, but it's really warm here Actually, today, it is, too, isn't it? To be truthful, it is getting very warm. If you just tuned in, we're in uh, Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and uh, Eve's not with us today. We have Lavila with us today, kind of filling in, helping out. Yeah. Doing a great job. Well, thank you. And uh, if you uh, didn't see us out there on the on snow, the it was fun. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, kind of... Maybe we'll get a shot from maybe up top a little later. Well, anyway, let's get back to our featured guests on today's program, Greg and Rebecca Sparks, former members of Bash to Code, but today they're simply called the Sparks. Way back in 1976, Rebecca, at the time of only 17 years old, joined Found Free, a new band that later became known as Bash in the Code. It's here she meets band member Greg Sparks. After five years of touring together, they got married. Woo! Now let's meet them as Dave talks to them about their music and ministry for the 1990s. Welcome to our program. Thank you. And welcome to Cincinnati. Here. Thanks. Right. You're here for a big concert with Rich Mullins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Outside the, the door here, they're all lining up. Body heat of teenagers all over the place. Are you ready for them? Sure. sure. <laughs> Nervously. Nervously so. Um, for, for the sake of the, our viewers who are not familiar with your, your ministry, tell us about where you guys come from and what you do and well, how you met and how we met. The old Bash in the Code lot. story there. <laughs> well, let's see how we met. It's an old uh, war story. An old war story. Yeah. That I came you in heard. a group in 1978 called Found Free mm -hmm. that was based out of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I was born in Pennsylvania. Greg was born in Michigan. And um, in 1979, we were auditioning for bass players. And this kid from Michigan came. Bass player. All right. right. So actually at that time he didn't play bass, but my brother, who was one of the leaders of the band, he liked Greg so much that he told Greg, do you think you could learn to play bass? And Greg, of course, <laughs> the optimist that he is, said, oh, sure. Oh, no problem. Yeah, so yeah. he did learn how to play and um, turned into a really great bass player. And so that we worked together um, and got married in 1985, the beginning, early 1985, and shortly after that, the summer of 85, found free. Of course, we had always had constant, mm -hmm. you know, uh, personnel changes in the group, mm -hmm. and because it was a real exhausting schedule, and, yeah. and with that, you normally you don't hold on to people for very right. long, because they get real burnt out, but um, we hung in there, and uh, <laughs> Um, the, the road dogs that we are. Yeah. Road dogs. <laughs> and the group changed its name. Uh, we signed a record contract with Murr Records, and one of the conditions of the contract was that we changed the name to Bash in the Code. I'm like, so, what does that mean? I don't have to answer <laughs> that anymore. <laughs> Praise God, because I'm not in the group. But you could ask them next time. Oh, jeez, I've always wondered. This has been lingering in my mind. It's a mystery. Bash in the Code. It's a mystery. I don't it know. It was pretty much just a compromise. Yeah. On a, <laughs> a record company thing. Yeah. But, um,
And we're back on Victor Videos. Uh, Dave and Lavila having a good time at uh, Perfect North Slopes. And I am sitting in the driver's seat. I'm inside of the driver's seat, inside of one of these. This is a big uh, snow plow. plow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this would clear off your driveway in less than five minutes. And uh, I'm inside here. You've got all kinds of special controls, which I'm not going to touch. But if you can get down here and get a close shot of these, these huge cleats, this actually digs into the snow and pulls them all the way up these steep slopes. And keeps them from coming at a rapid pace on the way back down. <laughs> it was really scary. I know it. <laughs> to watch. <laughs> we saw them doing it a little earlier today. Yeah. Well, you know that last video was music from Bash and the Code. A few years back when Greg and Rebecca Sparks were members. Artistically, they're considered to be one of the outstanding talents in Christian music. But often that does not translate into record sales or hit records. That's right, Lavila. And as I talk to... Greg and Rebecca Sparks, I found that record sales and airplay were not really that important to them, but being where God wanted them to be indeed was the only thing that mattered. In a recent interview, Rebecca Sparks said, God told us, I want your love and I want you to be dedicated to me. I think that kind of sums up the most important part of our relationship to God. Yes. Don't you think? Yes, I do. So coming up in the second half of Victory Videos, more videos from Greg and Rebecca Sparks, mainstream music from Paul Brady, and a duet with Rick Kua and Rebecca Sparks, all coming up next on Victory Video. Enjoy it. like being on top of the world. Everyone says so. Everyone seems to be having one dandy old time. Hey, it's part of growing up. Or is it? Just think about this. Before you go and do something you've never done before, you just better know what you're jumping into. Strings. Branford Marsalis on the horn. Paul Schaefer on keys. Carly Simon on lead. There are a lot of different parts to play in the American Red Cross. Play your part. Hi, this is Greg Sparks. This is Rebecca Sparks. And you're watching Dave Dobbins on Victory Videos. Check them out. Books. Check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ and his craziest bout. Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. At your library. <laughs> and welcome back to Victor Videos. It's got a little warmer, but we're right on the edge. At the expert slope. At the expert slope right here at Perfect North in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And it is a perfect day. It's absolutely beautiful out. It really is. It's hard to believe that there's snow here on this. It, it is. This nice Saturday we're, we're filming this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's time for our mainstream segment of the show today. Okay. Let's start out with <laughs> Paul Brady and his video, Nobody Knows, followed by Canadian Bruce Coburn, Dream Like Mine. Hey, mm -hmm. enjoy those two for you on Victory Videos. Hey. Hey. Here comes another one.
Christmas music from Bruce Coburn. Before that, we heard from Paul Brady and his video, Nobody Knows. I like those two songs. <laughs> yeah, so do I. All right. Did you notice what's behind us? No, I didn't. What's behind us this over here? Tell us about it, Olivia. This is what they call the chair lift. The it chair lift. It takes you to the top. To the, oh. See? That's how you get up That's there? That's how you get up there. You just oh. ride and relax while you're up there because you're in for a screaming way no, down. No, 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 no. <laughs> If it was me, I'd be praying on the way up. <laughs> <laughs> that does help. That helps. <laughs> I love it. It's time to get back to our interview with Greg and Rebecca Sparks on Victory Video. Enjoy it. Let's talk a little bit about relationships, because you guys are in a relationship, and I, don't you love when people pull quotes that you said from a magazine from sure. years gone by? Yeah. You said in the C <laughs> you said in CCM in December of '89 interview, I traveled all around the world, gave up my life for Him, God, lived in poverty, then God broke us and said, and God said, your sacrifices don't mean anything to me. I want your love, and I want you to be dedicated to me. What's that mean? Talk about that a little bit. I think there's a real hazard when people are in this business yes. or, um, um, that the ministry becomes everything to mm -hmm. us and we put this mantle on us that we're doing everything for God. We're, God. Yeah. And we lived in a very oppressive mm -hmm. situation for years because we believed and we were led to believe mm -hmm. that um, all of the sacrifices, all of the not having any money to pay bills, the always Mm -hmm. scrimping and and I we live a meager um, or a moderate lifestyle mm -hmm. I'd say mm -hmm. we're uh, it's not a goal of ours to just be rolling in the dough mm -hmm. but things have changed for us that we don't think mm -hmm. um, I read a Chuck Swindoll book years ago and he talked about the pride of poverty mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> and that's definitely the situation we were in we were poor and it was almost like it was orchestrated to just stay that way mm -hmm. and money isn't really an issue with us a lot I believe I should be paid for the skill that sure. I have, and I've been Amen. studying for many years and doing this for many years, Amen. and I think I'm good at what I do, and, and well. I'm worthy of being paid mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. And there's always a level where you will negotiate mm -hmm. price and all that, but it was good for us to come to a point where emotionally we just had almost like a total shutdown because mm -hmm. we were so used sure. by this marketplace mm -hmm. and by the ministry. Sure. And to find that a ministry is not an organization. There's nothing in the Bible, Jesus, and in the letters. There, there's no instruction of how to build these organizations. Mm -hmm. But God made it clear through His Word that what's important, what my ministry is, number one, is to my husband, mm -hmm. to my little girl. If mm -hmm. I can't be a woman of God, to them first, That's and right. protect their best interests, then I, I don't have any right to get up on a stage and I say agree. what God's doing. Amen. So, um, that's good. That was a point where our life really was broken. There was a real reevaluating of mm -hmm. what was important and what's not, mm. and um, or prioritizing all Great. those things. Sometimes it's important to step back and take a look at priorities in our life. That's what Greg and Rebecca Sparks did a couple of years ago. Because of that self-examination, Rebecca says after 12 years in the ministry, quote, there's a point where your ministry becomes your God and nothing is more important than it, end of quote. Greg and Rebecca decided it was time for a change. They decided to simplify their lives. Leaving Bash in the Code was hard after 12 years, but it was what God was directing them to do. Success cannot be measured by record sales or hit records, but by only being where God wants us to be. It's clear to see that what's important to Greg and Rebecca Sparks is relationship with God and together as a couple and family. By allowing God to direct them, they have truly found a place where God wants them to be. You are the hope you 
are the start You are the hands, you are the heart You are the united way You have the will, you have the way The times you give, all the times you take See the difference, one you can make You are the united way You have the will, you have the way You are the united way It starts with you And welcome back to Victor Videos, Dave Dobbins with... Lavila Craft. Yes, and uh, Eve's not with us today, couldn't be with us, but we do have with us uh, uh, one of the owners of uh, this wonderful facility. Welcome to Victor Videos, Ellen Perfect. Thank you very much. You have a perfect north slope here. It's perfect. We like to think it is, just like we are. That's right, very perfect. <laughs> and, now, and you married into the Perfect family, so you actually married Mr. Perfect. That's right. My mother was thrilled about that. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, you started in 1980 with this, this idea, or your family did, right? Tell us a little bit of how this kind of got started. That's right. When we started the ski area, it was very small, and we've just progressively grown from year to year, making additions and changes every year. But the first year was real small and real sparse. We didn't have very many skiers, but as you can see now, it's really grown. So this is really a family-owned business. Uh, your father-in-law started out, built the lodge himself, and uh, he started out, as I said earlier in the program, with only six of these uh, snowblowers, and now they're 75, right? That's right. The lodge was built with used brick that we bought from Norwood in Cincinnati, and we've got uh, old timbers from barns that were torn down in the area that are inside the lodge, and uh, everything was laid out and built by uh, my father-in-law and his family, and um, it started out small. Like I said, we, we had a lot of work to do with only six snow guns, and now with all these tower-mounted snow guns, the snowmaking process is a lot easier. It's amazing, isn't it, Lavilla? Yes, it is. Just here it is, a great day, and all there's snows all over the ground. And we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to get to learn to yeah. ski today. We really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's really <laughs> exciting. It makes me want to come back. <laughs> Let me ask you this: How many, as we wrap up this segment, how many uh, people do you normally run through here in a in a day's time or a week's time? Well, um, season totals, we usually ski about 70,000 people over the ski season. Um, so on a day like today, on a busy Saturday or Sunday, we'll see, oh, 1,500 to 2,000 people here today. Wow. It's impressive. That's great. That's great. Uh, what really made, made me feel bad in La Vila, of course, she, you know, she's an old pro. She skied 13, one time, one time <laughs> 13 years ago. But to see these little guys, like these guys in smaller out here with these big flippity fly, and they're just like, no big deal. A lot of the kids start here at uh, age three, four, and by the time they're nine or ten years old, they are pros at it. That's, That's wonderful. That's great. Well, we'd like to thank you for allowing us to be here today on thank Victory Videos. We thank enjoyed you. it. It was great. And we're going to take one f more final look into the music and the ministry of Greg and Rebecca Sparks on Victory Videos. God doesn't come and visit us when we're doing a concert. It's absolutely no fun. And... Um, and there's no enjoyment in it. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you couldn't pay me enough money to <laughs> stay out on the road to do it. Yeah. Um, and I would make a lot more money as a musician singing back up in a studio yeah. and just being able to go home every mm -hmm. night. <laughs> so financially, that wouldn't make sense. Right. I don't have um, a, a huge ambition of like being a big, huge star someday. If I did, I would have pursued mm -hmm. that years ago mm -hmm. I like being on in the grassroots of what that's good of people that's and good. being able to jump down off the stage and not feel like mm -hmm. you know you're endangering your life yeah or and they're something. gonna mob you right but um I think that people in the audiences there there is a time of challenge that's going on for people to be real Christians and to put away all of the um, religiosity and mm -hmm the cultural things that we've learned from the church, um, what we should look like, um, how we should um, talk. And what we should what, say. What we should say. And 
the words that we have to put into our vocabulary to qualify mm. so that you know that mm. I'm your sister in Christ. Mm. And um, instead of us honing the skills of being discer discerning and mm. letting the Holy Spirit, mm. you know, mm. uh, like letting That's the good. Holy Spirit discern yeah. in our heart, where are you and, mm -hmm. and how can I minister to where you are today? Mm -hmm. Instead of this thing of like, well, are you in my club or not? I don't know. I didn't hear him say praise the Lord yet, <laughs> so I'm not really sure. And um, I think that people need yeah. to be challenged. I think people are becoming challenged for the urgency of um, mm -hmm. where the world is. Mm -hmm. And that I believe that Christ is coming back soon. And, Well, we're uh, kind of wrapping it up here. Oh, it's been what a, a fun shame. day. It's been yeah, beautiful. it's been a great day. Yeah, the sun is kind of setting off in the west. It's getting a little colder. Getting a little colder. Mm -hmm. The wind's picking up. That's right. And <laughs> we are actually on the top of this hill. Yes. We're too As scared. As you'll notice, behind us, it gets very steep. It goes straight down. <laughs> now we did not ride this thing up. We're a chicken. We kind of rode up in the car. <laughs> I would have should have told him that. <laughs> but you think I rode up on that thing? Right. <laughs> Well, we hope that you enjoyed our Greg and Rebecca Sparks program today on Victory Videos, and uh, I'd like to thank you 
for being with us today Thank in you. Eve's place. It's Avila. Been a pleasure. You really did a great has. job. Thank you. Isn't she good? She, she's usually behind the camera doing a, all kinds of things for us, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And normally at the end of the program, I say, okay, we're going to go take off and go on down. But in yeah, this case, I don't think so. we're just going to stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being with us today, and we hope you've enjoyed our program on Victor Videos. Dave Dobbins. La Vila Craft. And thank you. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time on Victor bye -bye. Videos. Bye-bye.